Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Y Shiny Walk. In the last episode, we left off right here, which I forgot its name. Tower of Mastery. Yes, we left off at the Tower of Mastery. So yeah, it's a really cool camera angle, but it all comes to an end right there. So, yeah. It's a very interesting place. And as emphasized, another cool camera angle. Oh. Oh, sorry. I had something in my eye. <clears throat> you must be Justin, then. Sigmar told me you'd be coming. I'm called the Mega Evolution Guru. I guess you could say I'm an acquaintance of his. Oh, but Mega Evolution Guru. What? My real... Isn't... Okay. Yeah. Oh, but Mega Evolution Guru isn't my real name, of course. Now, come here for a moment, will you? Hmm? Only one of you? I thought that he gave five kids a Pokedex. Isn't there anyone else with you? Oh! Who's that you're talking to, Little Jay? People call me the Mega Evolution Guru. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat feels... <coughs> like I am getting a cold. Uh, my name is Tierno. And that's Justin over there. My name's Trevor. Pleased to meet you, Sycamore's peoples. But there's still only three of you, huh? What's this now? Where the one found the intriguing stone? It was given to me. What? Uh, it was who found it, right, Lil J? No, I didn't find it. The hell? Like, wh what reason do you have to, like, say you found didn't find it? Like, what, you think, like, I broke the law? You bro that, okay. I'm trying to be honest and stuff, and he's all like, no, no, you, you found it. Like, what are you talking about? Anyways. <clears throat> well, who found it doesn't really matter. What's important is that you were honest. If you tell lies, the truth is clouded and eventually lost. And while you're being honest, that intriguing stone is just an ordinary rock. Hmm? Is there a lot of hubbub out there? Does that mean everyone has arrived? It was just a rock. We were our, he was trying to say, oh yeah, he found this intriguing stone, which is just a rock. Which, I don't know why she brought it up if it's just a rock. There's so much like, I don't know. Hey there, so you made it to Shallow City. Lucario is in its Pokeball, but it's really happy to see you. Well, we should go see what's going on too. Hmm. Looks like everyone is finally here. Little Jay! Where have you been? Here? <laughs> where else would I have been? I... It feels like it's been some time since our whole group has gathered in one place. Yeah, I think it's been s since we met up on Route 7. Mr. Mega Evolution Goro. I... I'm... There is no I... Do you see that? She, the dude doesn't have it. whatever. I've been wondering this whole time, who is that over there? That is my granddaughter, Coria. She's Shaller City's gym leader. Dun dun dun. So, Sycamore's pupil, ah, uh, pupils. Now that you've come here, I suppose I should explain Mega Evolution to you. I assume you all know about evolution. I know, I know. Uh... You put, you have your Pokemon battle a lot, and then they grow stronger and evolve. Wow, that is like, that's so, that is true, but it's like such a bad way to put it. Oh, and there are Pokemon that evolve with certain items. Some Pokemon evolve through friendship, and others only evolve in certain places. Exactly, and it's likely that Pokemon e evolve in a lot of other ways as well. But Mega Evolution is an evolution that transcends all of their evolution. The line before it, though, like, and there's other ways as well. I feel like that's such a cool, like, 
little like way of them saying that you know it doesn't have to just be these in the future if they want to add a new way of evolving it's not like oh my god that's so dumb but like we just haven't discovered it yet and that's what i like to think about with all these new pokemon that are being added on they just weren't discovered like it wasn't known that you could do this like you know trade evolutions per se maybe people didn't trade them i mean that one's a little less likely but like think when you think about it, Pokemon that are old getting new ones, like maybe no one knew if you gave Eevee this move and friendshiped it up, made it friends with you, and then it became into a Sylveon, you know? It's not, like, unreasonable. I mean, then, then you can go into the timeline theory that they do bring up in a bit, but I'll explain that in a little bit. Indeed, Mega Evolution is a transformation of Pokemon that were thought to be unable to evolve any further. It's a whole new level of power. So in... An evolutioning line like Charmander, Char, uh, like Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, does that mean Charizard would be able to evolve even further? Yep, exactly right. But not all Pokemon have a Mega Evolution. There's a reason why I used the word transformation a moment ago. Mega Evolution differs from evolution because it ends after a certain amount of time. In other words, it's a temporary evolution. What? It evolves, but then it goes back to what it was before? Yes. Mega Evolution is a special kind of evolution. That said, we still now uh, we still know very little about it. What we do know now is that it requires special items, and that and the most important element is the trust between the Pokemon and trainer. Trust, in other words, the bond between the trainer and Pokemon. To make Mega Evolution work, you need two items: a Mega Stone for the Pokemon and a Mega Ring, which has myster has a mysterious stone set in it for the trainer. Since Sick uh, since Professor Sycamore entrusted each one of you with the Pokedex, I would like to give these items to all of you. I'd like to share them with you, but... But? But what? You've come out and say it already. Sorry, but presently, I only have one Mega Ring. It's a very precious item. That's why my research isn't getting anywhere. So I want all of you to decide among yourselves which one of you should... Yeah. Which one of you will be the one who challenges the Mega Evolution successor? I'll pass. Pokemon Valley isn't really my scene. So Mega Evolution would be way out of my league. Me too. It would really be cool. be a cool memory. And it does look interesting. But I want you to complete the Pokedex first. If you try too much at once, you won't accomplish anything. So that lives little Jay and Serena then. Trainers don't get much better than you two. Aw. Justin, let's battle for it. Whatever, whatever the... No, I don't know if my Pokemon are healed. Whatever the reason, a battle gives us an opportunity to complete and see who's the villain's town's best trainer really is. Um, you could probably guess, even if you lose, you're not actually gonna lose the ring. You're just gonna battle her again. But it doesn't make you battle her right away. My Pokemon are healed. Okay. So... Ironically, I'm going to get the Mega Evolution Ring and not be able to use it because, like, none of my Pokemon can Mega Evolve. Are you ready? Yes. I will master Mega Evolution and set myself apart from the other trainers. I'll also do it for my Pokemon. You've come so far together, and they never stopped believing in me. <sighs> Sorry about that. We've been getting some spam caller all day. All day. He's been calling, like, every 15 minutes. I try to find a good time to record, and he calls. Anyways, you and your Pokemon are stronger, I can tell, just by looking at you. But I will not lose. No, I'm going to win. That's some real determination that I really like. I wish we saw that in more trainers. Like, how is too, like, cool and calm? But, like, the, the best part of having five key people, maybe five is too much, but you have all those different personalities. You have one trainer that's really trying to beat you, like Serena, and then you have other trainers that are kind of chill. You got one that's going for the Pokedex, one that's trying to be more like, eh, it's not my thing, you know. The one that's smart. But yeah, we're challenged by Trainer Serena. So she's going to start off with a Meow Stick. So, yeah, I still don't have Ducklet. I just haven't had time to shiny hunt it. I will most likely get it over the weekend. And if not, then I'm fricked because I'm going to do another episode without it. But I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday to try to hunt it. And I will hunt it as much as I can. So, yeah. Meow Stick. Uh, I mean, I... I don't see there being really an issue here. Did it use Fake Out? It did. You freaking suck.
So yeah, I'm at a little disadvantage here with only two Pokemon, but uh, I think I'm still overleveled. <laughs> Actually, no, I think I've only got a level or two on them. Four levels, all right. So, um, it's not really benefiting me to use Flame Charge, other than I get a, a speed advantage, but I'll take that. Actually, this actually wouldn't be a horrible time. I haven't used Howl yet this series, but it's actually not that bad of a move. Since this can't do much of any damage to me, if I keep increasing my attack, I can sweep through her. I usually don't keep moves like this around, especially until this point, but she, uh, Lopez really hasn't learned any better moves, so I don't see a reason not to go for it. And, yeah, I think I raised it two times already, so this should be about double damage. Gotta speed up. And we're gonna heal up real quick. Good old super potion. Heal me. Almost all the way up, not fully. By the way, if I get another scam call, I might just mute the mic and keep playing. Just because, like, I don't wanna have to keep breaking it because they've been calling non-stop, so. If that does occur, you know why. So, yeah. Nothing's gonna outspeed me at this point, I, so I don't have to worry. As long as I can stay in Volpez, I have a huge advantage. Frogadier. Uh, it's, it's, there's no advantage swapping out at this point. I'm still gonna have that water type weakness, which I just forgot about and is a major issue, and I do need an electric type. But Cut might do a decent portion on me. Use Quick Attack of all moves. Okay, ah, that's not so bad. It probably did would probably does more than Psy Beam would do. Ah, I'm just a little scared because if this thing does go for like I don't know Bubble or Bubble Beam and it does like half damage, I'm screwed. Water Pulse. Frick, I'm fricked. I'm fricked. Guys, I'm fricked. I don't know what to do. Um, hmm. Oh my god, what do I do here? Because if I go into Big Chungus, what does he know? He does have strength, which is gonna do a little bit of damage. But I still have the, uh... <sighs> okay, let's just see who's got a better defense, or special defense. You have a, a decent special defense. You have a better special defense. Frick. And Water Pulse wouldn't just happen to be a... Non-special move, would it? No, it's special. Okay, how much HP? We have 93, 99. Oh, um, I don't really know. I, I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice a life on Volpez here. Unless I get lucky with Psybeam, because like, okay. I. Brogadier is a higher def uh, special defense, and I don't have my def special defense raised at all. Psybeam does 65, and... I might get really, really cheesy right here and get lucked, but if not, then I'm fine because I won't die. I might have to lose a life here, but it's worth that because I'm... Ooh, one for quick attack. So I, I don't have to worry. Oh. I didn't get cheesy. I didn't get lucky. Cut will do the trick. And that right there is why the freaking AI sucks. I had a huge plan 
that I didn't have to worry about because it didn't even try to attack me with a super effective move. That's the issue with this AI. It's too easy. I think it realized that it had a really good chance of winning if it used a water move and didn't. And we saw the exact same thing, I think, with the uh, last gym, where it could have gone for some really good and offensive move, but it chose not to. I don't really get what that is, but it, it kind of sucks. Because, like, you know what? I deserve to lose a life here. I haven't... I didn't get myself a Pokemon that I should have, like, to help me protect myself, and I really should have to pay the price for that. But it also makes me reconsider getting Ducklet. Because if I get Ducklet, this situation doesn't change much. I'm still gonna have that same disadvantage. I might be better off skipping over Ducklet and going for an electric type. Because, like, or a grass type. Like, that that makes me think, because this is not the first time I've had to worry about that. So I lost them. 6k for winning. It was so strong, I could feel how powerful the bond between you and your partners is. Losing is frustrating, but you will definitely be able to maybe evolve your Pokemon. I'm sure of it. There may be winners and losers in a Pokemon battle, but I really thought you two and your Pokemon were all winners. Mega Evolution is nothing more than just one way to make Pokemon stronger. There are many trainers who bring out the strength of their Pokemon without Mega Evolution. Well then, Justin, first you should challenge Karina, the gym leader. Pokemon need a Mega Stone, and Pokemon trainers need the Mega Ring. Well, my master trainer, my Lucario, may have taken a shine to you, but now I must test to see if you're ready to challenge the Mega Evolution successor. I'll be waiting for you at the gym. Oh, the rest of your friends should come challenge me to the gym too. Challenge me at the gym too. Ah. All but the professor will be happy if you master Mega Evolution. There's only one way you can show mastery as a trainer. Well, that's what the professor wanted us to do after all. He said we should aim for the best trainers we can be and enjoy our journey. Tierno, shall we work to the best trainers we can be too? Alright then, let's aim for the top. Hope to see you again soon, little Jay. See ya, Shauna. I don't really need to go all go to all the trouble of comparing every li living creature is unique, but still. Having someone to complete, compete against and aim for greater heights with this very fine thing. <clears throat> well, Jay, I think that you and Serena are going to compete against each other and get very strong. I'm so glad we are all traveling together. And uh, probably we're all curious what happens if I chew there. Only those who've been approved may climb the Tower of Mastery. So obviously, yes, you can't really, as you can tell, it's there's a lot of Mega Evolution things. That's the main reason I went to the door first, because you can't do anything here until you beat the gym. So, yeah, if you would like to talk to him, you know, there's nothing much is going to happen. You can go back in there, but again, nothing's going to really help you in here. There's no items. I mean, I think there's a something in here that you can interact with. But I don't think it's anything, like, significant. But, yeah. That's just about everything there is to do here at the tower. I think there's an... No, there's no item. Alright. There was an item. But yeah, it's still a beautiful view, and we will definitely come back, trust me. So, yeah. I think someone's going to be outside the gym talking to... No, no one's going to be outside the gym wanting to talk to us. Well then, I know we've had a lot of short episodes recently. We've had two that were below 25 minutes, and we're going to have another one like that. And I do apologize, I like to aim for 25 minute uploads, but you know what? Sometimes there's just not enough to fit in, or... A lot of stuff does go on. I mean, it might not seem like it, but that was a lot of crucial story. We talked a lot about Mega Evolution, and then we fought against Serena and beat her. So, yeah. 
I want to thank you all for watching this episode, and I promise you, this, the story is going to pick up a lot more from this point. It's been very slow. I mean, well, really, it's not been that much of anything. I mean, the first gym and the second gym took so long, and now here we're at the third gym. Trust me, the story is just about to get started. Now that we've learned the basics of Mega Evolution, once we get that Master uh, Mega Ring, the story is going to pick up, and it's going to go by fast. Trust me. You might have heard me talk about it already, but... This, I did say, feels like it's structured weird, but I feel like it works. You start off a journey nice and slow, and it's going to pick up quickly. So yeah, thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we will take on the gym, and hopefully have our third member of the team. Bye.